Okay, now, uh, let me tell you what I learned, okay? So the given is the like system of like first order uh, differential equations. But like what you're gonna do is we're gonna convert this one as the single uh, differential equation and we're gonna solve it, okay? Like because like this is really simple. But like you know, after this section, and we will talk about how we can solve the system of linear differential equation, okay? But like you know, for the practice, let's do this, okay? So let me try to apply the same technique with the example 18, okay? We're gonna to try to convert this one as a single differential equation, okay? To do so, we're going to do the uh, substitution, substitution as I did before. Here we go. Let me solve for x2. Then I will do the substitution this guy into the second equation. Then my second equation will be written like this way. x1 prime plus 2x1 prime plus x1 and minus 2 and x1 prime plus 2 x1 okay clean up x1 double prime plus 2 x1 prime equal to x1 minus 2 x1 prime minus 4 x1 let me move everything to the left hand side then x1 double prime and what happened there we go plus 4 x1 prime and minus 3x1 and which is plus x3 uh, plus 3x1 equal to 0 okay look at that that is uh, exactly homogeneous second order linear differential okay and we already practiced a lot how we can take care of this one which is characteristic bridge okay here we go so characteristic equation of this uh, homogeneous equation is r squared and 4r 3 equals 0 then we can easily factor this guy that is the simplest case okay r plus 3 equals 0 then i can say there are two real number solution for this equation right then like from this guy i can say um x1 t which is homogeneous equation is well like this is homogeneous right it is c1 e to the minus t plus c2 e to the minus 3t is that okay so like you know but look at that this is system now only x1 person we have to find x2 but we know the form of x2 already okay look at the like you know uh, blue circle x2 is defined by x1 prime plus 2 x1 okay there we go is um, x1 prime plus 2x1, which means we're gonna plug in everything, okay? x1 prime, let me delete it, okay? Negative, like I'm talking about like chainer, negative out, which is negative one C1 e to the minus T, uh, minus three C2 e to the minus, that is x1 prime, and plus two times x1, C1 e to the minus T plus C2, e to the minus 3t is okay then let me clean up again it is equal to minus c1 e to the minus t minus 3 c2 e to the minus 3 uh, 3t plus 2 c1 e to the minus t plus 2 c2 e to the minus 3t and like terms e to the minus t's and e to the minus 3t is okay and minus c1 e to the minus 3t this guy and this guy, which is uh, one C one e to the minus t. Then this guy and this guy, right? Minus three n plus two, which is minus C two e to the minus three t. Okay. And now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use the initial conditions. Look at that. Initial conditions given here, right? X one zero equal two and x two zero equal three. Okay. Let me come back. So oh, we don't have enough space. Let me make it a little bit smaller.
There we go. I think this is it. Okay. Let me use the initial condition. Okay. There we go. Since x10 is given by 2, then plug in 0 in there. x10 is c1 plus c2. That's it. Okay. And since x2 0 equal to 3, let me put in 0 into my x2. Then what happened? E2 is equal to 1 and E2 is 3 is equal to 1 as well. And C1 minus C2 equal to 3. Okay. So from these two, we can set up the system, which is C1 plus C2 equal to 2. And C1 minus C2 is 3. Then we can do the elimination. Just add up. Then like C2 is gone. And we're going to have 2C1 equal to 5. Mass C1 is 5 over two, then we can easily find C2, which is our negative one half. Is that clear? Then finally, I can say, ma x one t is equal to uh, five over two e to the minus t minus one half e to the minus three t, and my x two t is equal to, what was that? Five half e to the minus t, and CC is minus one half is plus one half e to the minus three t. Okay, that's it.